What's going on everybody? Quick little video. Today we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite topic, the PlayStation 5 and SSD. So, if you're unfamiliar with me, my channel is Black Bond, my Twitter is Black Burei. I do the Web Wheel podcast Sundays at 5.45 p.m. Eastern, non-Shokyo time. Be sure to check out myself, Broken Games HD, Jack Move Johnny, Kid Smooth, and soon be Blandrew. Also, be sure to check out our Patreon if you want to check out the After Dark or any of our other tiers. It's not required, but if you want to do a little extra, you want to support a little extra, you want to get a little extra, then by all means, feel free to support. So, what do we have right here, people? Are, are you all watching my screen? A PlayStation 3 Slim putting in a stand. And yet, we had so many people crying and complaining that turning a screw and assembling a stand for the PlayStation 5, it was too hard. Now, I go a generation before that, we have a PlayStation 2 where people are putting in network adapters and hard drives, something that was not complained about back then, but all of a sudden, two, three generations later, it's so hard. Can't do it. <laughs> and... If you think that's bad, we have a Nintendo 3DS, you know, that little handheld that I would say that a majority of kids own, not to say that adults don't own, but children own this too. This, this is the device that people play Pokemon on, and you know, to change the SD card, you have to open it up. And it's amazing what, you know, kids and children can figure out these days, and you know, we could figure out when we were very young and in middle school and high school, but at the bottom left, what you're seeing is the addition of an NVMe drive to a PlayStation 5, and we have grown ass men complaining about it. We really do. We have grown ass men, people that want to talk about their hardware and technological expertise every day on Twitter about frame rates, about RDNA 2 and RDNA 3 and ray tracing and bit rates and all kinds of other things. But when it comes to pulling up a latch, removing a tab, a faceplate, unscrewing a little bit of a component, sliding in a drive to its connectors and screwing it back in, oh no. That's where we draw the line, people. That's where we draw the line. And this has never been an issue. This has never been a problem. None of this has ever been a problem until Xbox guys claimed it was a problem. You don't have Nintendo people complaining about screwing in a stand or adding in additional storage or maneuvering a tab on a machine because they've been doing it. You don't have PlayStation guys complaining about it either because, guess what? They've been doing it too. Hey, people on the Sega Dreamcast, the broadband adapter, you had to install that also. But for some reason, the so-called technological superior in knowledge and intellect of the Xbox community, they can't use their hands. They can't turn screws. They can't open things up. They can't lift up a latch. They can't plug something in. They can't do simple, minute tasks that children that play Pokemon can do. And you know what? Maybe Microsoft is on to something. Maybe that's why the Xbox has a plug-and-play hard drive that's going to be way more expensive in the long run. Maybe that's why Microsoft created an adaptive controller because unfortunately some of you people act like you need to use one. This isn't difficult. This isn't hard. This isn't anything strenuous. You people buy 4K TVs and mount them on walls via Vespa mounts. But when it comes to putting a stand on a console or lifting two tabs and unscrewing a compartment to install an SSD, all of a sudden, all of your 
intellect, all your RDNA, and all of your technological prowess in video games, and 4K displays, and mounting TVs, and speaker systems, and Atmos, all of a sudden, y'all want to act stupid. You just forget everything. And then want to complain, this is too hard. I, 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 how's anybody supposed to? Y'all need to stop. This is two-faced hypocrisy at its best. Y'all want to act smart all the time until it comes time to do basic things. And then all of a sudden, you're dumb. And unfortunately, some of you people have kids and families. You not being able to do this while having a child at home is worrisome to me. It truly is. I fear for people that have kids that are complaining about turning simple screws. Can you open a jar of baby food? I don't know. But the way you're acting tends to tell me to believe that maybe you can't. So stop pretending, stop acting stupid, Stop acting like a genius when, it, when you're not a genius and then acting like an idiot when you're not an idiot. Like, come on, people. You're not slick. You're not smart. We've been doing this since the PlayStation 2 era. We've been doing this on PlayStation 3s. We did it with Dreamcast if you had it back in the day. We've been doing it on Nintendo handhelds. But all of a sudden, three generations later, y'all want to act dumb. I don't get it. I'm Black Bond. Y'all take it easy, and go easy on that frauding. It ain't good for your health.